Okay, so let's have it problem number two. Okay, so for the thrust shown, determine the axial stress in member CD. The cross section of member CD is hollow silver steel with thickness of 5 millimeters and outside diameter of 50 millimeters. Okay, so una, kailangan alam muna natin um, yung ating statics, no? So, kailangan sa tayo mag-method of joints, sa tayo mag-method of sections. Okay. Since I am looking for the member CD on this member, okay, pwede ko dito muna i-cut. Okay? So, pwede ko dyang i-cut. Ayusin nga natin. Ang pangit ng cut. Parang hindi engineer. Okay. Now, then, i-isolate. So, try to isolate. Okay? I-isolate natin yung members na yon. So, we will be having here this one. Oops. Okay. And then, we will be having here this one as my C. Okay. And then, somewhere here as my CD. Okay. So, hindi natin alam. Okay. Ang sabi natin, okay, nung tayo ay nag-aaral ang turo sa atin, we assume the direction to be away from the joint C. Okay. And then, ilagay natin yung pinaka-load ko. So, we will be having here 50 kilo newton. Okay? Ngayon, hindi natin alam yung pinaka-inclination. Pero since this is 4, this is 4, kalahate, no? Equal silang dalawa. Kung meron kang 6 by similar triangle, alam ko kagad na ito is around ilan to? 3 meters, no? So, you have here 3 meters. And then another 3 meters. Okay? So, you may be having the similar triangle on that. Okay? So, kung kunin ko yung inclination nito. Okay? So, yung inclination on. So, this is height of 3. And then, horizontal length of 4. And then, this one is equal to 5. So, I will be having here in inclination 3, 4, and then 5. This is now my uh, P. Uh, CD and then you will be having here as P BC okay and then from there pwede ka ngayon mag summation forces horizontal or summation forces vertical so since yung ating member is uh, naka inclined tapos yung member BC ko is horizontal pwede ako mag summation forces vertical na lang okay and equal to zero para maging equilibrium and then pataas yung aking positive. Okay? So check na then. Unahin natin yung load. So pababa siya, so I will have be having it as negative 50 kN. Okay? Next, the vertical component of the CD. So since ang vertical component niya is 3, so pababa minus 3 all over 5 of PCD. Wala na ibang load and then that will become equal to 0. So, we will now be having a P C D. So, again, that is equal to 50 times 5 divided by 3. So, that's around 83.33 kilo newton. Kaya lang, the value pala ay negative. So, you will be having here as negative 83.33 kilo newton. Okay, what does it mean? Yung PCD natin is 83.33 kN. Again, this is in compression. Okay, so ang create dito is a compressive stress. Okay, so ito na yung ating internal force na hinahanap. Okay, sabi ko nga, kapag kinat mo yung section, yung na-expose nating force, that is the internal force. So, yun yung kailangan nating force para sa stress. Okay, balik tayo ngayon sa ating... Um, drawing. So, meron daw akong cross-section area. Okay. Yung cross-section area ko. Okay. So, you will be having here this one. Meron akong outside diameter. Okay. Ang hirap mong drawing ng circle. Assuming na circle yan. And then, hollow siya. Ibig sabihin, okay, buta sa gitna. Okay. So, kumbaga, ito lang yung aking cross-sectional area. Okay, so iyan lang yung aking cross-sectional area. Yeah. 
And then, meron daw yung outside diameter. So, from here, outside diameter. So, na 50 millimeters. Okay. And then, meron naman akong wall thickness. Around 5 millimeters. Okay. So, kung meron kang wall thickness sa 5 millimeters, yung inner diameter ko mula dito hanggang doon, ilan na lang yun? So, 50 minus 5 sa kabila, minus 5 sa kabila. So, this is around just 40 millimeters. So, para makuha natin yung shaded area, parang big circle minus small circle. Okay? So, for that, kukunin natin yung area ng seeding. So, again, area ng malaki okay and then area ng maliit okay so yung malaki kapag given is diameter so we will be having here as pi all over 4 radius ah sorry diameter ang given so d to the fourth minus pi all over 4 small d to the fourth okay so factoring so pwede tayong mag factor ng pi over 4 so, you will be having here d to the 4th minus d to the 4th. Okay? So, we will be having here as pi over 4. So, we will be having here as 50 squared minus 40 squared. So, yung area ng cd natin, and that's equal to pi all over 4 multiplied by 50 squared minus 40 squared. So, we will be having here 225 of pi. And again, that is millimeter squared. Okay? Now, kapag tayo kumuha ng stress, so stress CD, so dapat mag-base tayo na base unit. Okay? Paano yung sir yung base unit? So, ang base natin ng force sa metric is newton. So, ibig sabihin, kung meron kang 83.33 kilonewton, okay, i-convert natin sa, okay, times 10 to the 3. So, i-multiply ko ng 1,000, no? Para maging newton. Okay? And then, i-divide ko siya by the area. 225 pi. Okay? Kapag ang denominator is millimeter squared, okay? Newton, millimeter squared, ang resulting unit niyan is always mega pascal. Okay? So, ulitin ko, kapag newton, meter squared, this is, ano to? Pascal. Okay? Now, we will be having a scale newton per meter square. So, that is in kilo pascal. Ayun, may K. Eh. So, kilo pascal. Ngayon, kapag ginawa kong newton per mm squared, ang tawag sa kanya is mega pascal. And normally, on the stresses, Okay, we are having it in either kilopascal or we have it is an megapascal, okay? So, for this one, we will be having here newton per mm squared. So, we have 83.33 times 10 to the 3 over 225 of 5. So, you will be having here 100. Okay, and since this is a compressive force, so you will be having here negative 117. 0.89 mega pascal. Okay? So, this is now the stress dun sa ating member. Then, iyan yung i-compare dun sa lakas. Okay? Later on, meron tayong ganun. I-compare natin. So, para makuha natin yung stress niya. Okay? So, that's how you get the stress, a normal stress and actual stress on a steel truss or a truss member.